everybody. Welcome to my channel. If you don't mind taking a second, liking and subscribing to my channel, that would be amazing. Today, we're going to do a continuation on my napkin envelope. I had some ideas and I was actually pretty excited. I went to Joanne Fabric the yesterday, actually, on my way home from my daughter's, and I got this Guterman and it's clear. So I'm going to actually hand stitch the these closed. And I'm going to try to, well, if it's clear, I don't really have to worry too much about it being seen from the outside. So I'm going to do that. And then I pulled out these beautiful vintage buttons. I hate to take them off of here. I might look and see if I have another one. But look how perfect this matches with this. I mean, it's more than perfect. So I may put one there. And I'm not quite sure how I'm going to actually, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to do a buttonhole. So I need to kind of figure that out, how I'm going to do that. I may just use the button as a decoration because once this is done, it'll close on itself. Because I am going to do a clear stitch right across here just so it has that bendability right in that corner. So without further ado, I'm going to go start this. And, oh, wait, I have a, something else to tell you. To, I'll tell you at the end. Um, anyways, I will be back. Okay, guys, so what I decided to do is glue it. I had this invisible thread, and it was actually, I used a thin needle, and it was creating little holes in here that I didn't like. So the other thing is, is I'm working on trying to figure out how I want, I love this, the pearls. I love the pearls and I'm not sure this one might be a little too much. It kind of takes away from the pearls, but let's see. I have a few others pulled out. This one is more stock white. So let's try that one and see what we think works best. So if I do it, I could do it. Uh, I think it probably would have to go down like this. I try not to pull too many things out because then it gets me pretty overwhelmed. So that's what I try. I try not to. This might have to go down a little bit so if we did that there and we did this here let's see how that looks I'm still not crazy about it. I don't think it has enough humps to it so let's swap it around and do it this way don't know if I'm crazy about it but we get to try all angles on this. Do we want it to bump up and show up here? I don't know. Still not crazy on it. I might have to go digging some more laces unless our last one is our ticket, which I have over here. Still not crazy about it. It's not showing enough. So let's try this last one that I pulled out. And let's see how this sits. I like the netting on the top because I can actually work with this a little easier. So let's try that. And let's put this piece down. So I got a um, message yesterday on my uh, messenger. It was kind of a cool one. I moved that down a little bit. I, for some reason, I don't know how this happened, but I am friends with my brother's kindergarten teacher on Facebook. She actually was best friends with my kid's aunt who had passed away. So that might have been how we got reconnected. 
she sent me a message to call her. So I called her up and she said, hey, I've got a bunch of linens that my kids don't want. Tatting and all that that my grandmother made. Are you interested? Oh my gosh. Am I interested? Absolutely. I'm interested. So she's going to send me a whole box full of stuff. So I'm super excited about that and thankful. So Lorraine, if you're watching, I totally appreciate that. She told me she's been watching some of my videos. So we have this one too. Guys, I'm not too crazy about it. I actually like this other one much better. Not sure. This, I don't know why this is cut, but it is. And it's kind of funny. Is that telling me to go for it? Because it's cut. I don't know. You guys. I don't, just don't know. You know, we want it to be a little too much but I kind of I don't know you know they always say go with your first choice so I'm going to try a few others off camera and see what I think and then I'll come back and show you guys what I've chosen okay guys I have these pearls sitting here I like my pink ones the bigger ones, but they're too big to add. I kind of think it makes this pop a little bit. <clears throat> if I add this in between, my allergies are awful, excuse me, in between the pink and in between the original that came on here, this part, I kind of think I like that. I like the, the pop of that. And I'm really starting to like this, but I'm still gonna try a few more and see if I still love this. Like I said, hmm, go with that first choice. But I'm really, really liking this look. So let me try a few more. Before I get any further with this, I want to kind of show you how I place this. Because I wanted it to be kind of a smooth transition down here. So I added my pieces. You can see. And then I added another piece here. And I just trimmed the sides right here. And now I'm going to take scissors and trim that. So let's trim this off together. Or, you know, I could do this, but it's not going to look right. So we're just going to give this a nice, clean trim off the corner. And I'll use these little pieces. I'll save them and use them to build something up or um, behind something or whatever. So I trim that up. I think I got to neaten this corner up a little bit. And I think I'll just kind of glue, put a little glue there just to hold down the corners. So my next step is going to be to add that pearl trim how pretty that looks so I'll have the beads of the pearl trim hanging again it's very hard to make these even this one's showing a little bit more than this one so I, I mean I could play around with it but it's not the easiest thing to make like I said to get these corners totally even like this I suppose I could just kind of play around and see but then again it's really not going to matter because the person who's getting it will just kind of it'll flop or however I decide to close it so let me go and add those beautiful pearls next okay so here is my next step and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of finish it because this video would last forever <laughs> at the rate I work. So I need something here. This just does not look finished. It kind of looks just something's missing. So I thought of adding another piece. And I'm not sure which one. This one looks really cute. Let's pull this up. We're just getting a general idea here. And 
that is just okay. I need something to go, it needs to really jump at me. So the one that I really, this one just didn't work right either. It was too busy for this on the bottom, I think. Just a little too busy. And I kind of wanted a contrast a little bit. So the one I think I really like, and hopefully you ladies will too, I kind of like this one. I think this is a great contrast. And then when I pull my, here, this will give just give you guys a general idea. When I pull this down, they'll just be a little bit showing. And then I need to figure out if I want to add these little pearls. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down first and then kind of see. Because this might be too much now. So actually it's not too bad. I kind of like it. So let me go and glue down the bottom piece and I'll play catch up. I'll come back on when I'm a little bit further done with this project and I might not add too much to it. I don't want to make it too busy. I kind of want to keep it somewhat simple to some degree. Again, here I go saying I want to keep it simple. It doesn't always work with me. So let me go and do that and I'll be right back. I also want to show you ladies how I piece this part together so it looks a little more not pieced together. So if I added it here, it doesn't look right because it doesn't have one of these little, I don't know what they're going to call it, loop-de-doops. <laughs> so probably what I'm going to end up doing is adding it right here. And then what I'll do is I'll trim it down and then I got to trim it on the side. So I just make it overlap just a little bit. Let's just glue under here. Like this. Hopefully... My arm isn't in your way. Let's make that stick a little. I'm a little glue happy. So then I just put it down like this. And then I'll go back and I'll cut. You know, when I do things on camera, they're not always the same. They don't always work out. So hopefully this will. Just kind of round this off a little so it's not as severe looking. And it blends in. It's all sticking to my fingers now. So let me turn this side. Kind of trim this too. Whoops. On the angle. I don't want to trim the bottom piece. There. See how it somewhat blends in? I mean, it's nowhere near perfect, but it does blend in. And then I'll go back under and just put a little more underneath just to stabilize it so it stays down. My fingers are all glue. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then I'm going to go back, and I already did the other side, and I'm going to trim up this corner. Just be careful you don't cut your project. If your scissors are like mine, they're pretty sharp. And you'd be pretty aggravated if you cut your project. So now, this is what it looks like. Let me put the beads down. And next, I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to, I just have to figure out whether I'm going to use Fabri-Tac or what I'm going to use. I'm going to glue these down right in between here. I really like the elegance of that. So let me do that and play a little catch up and then I'll come back and show you where I'm at. Like I said, I might not add too much. I don't think I'm going to add anything over here because this is the back of it and oh, I couldn't get that wrinkle out. I'm going to try to iron that again. Um, I don't know. I don't know what your idea is. Should I add something on the back of this? Maybe even just a piece of straight lace. I don't want to add too much because it's going to be the front that's the focal point of the whole thing. So chime in and let me know what you think. Okay, I knew I said I wasn't going to do the back, but I think I'm going to do the back. I have so many doilies and my friend Nikki CV sent me this 
and it belongs on here. The color just is perfect for it. And I kind of like how this jumps out. It's still simple. It's not all lacy in the aspect of the lace trim. It's lacy when it comes to the antique look. So I need to glue all this down. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece out of the center just to get rid of some of the bulk from this. And I might cut a little out of here as well. It's not too bulky, but I think just giving it a little less is going to make it a little bit easier. But I'm kind of hesitant getting rid of this because you can kind of see through it, but it might not be bad. So I'm going to have to sit and play with that. And our cover is done. Let me move this over. And put this down. So the cover is pretty much done. And I'm not sure I'm going to add much of anything else. I kind of like the simplicity of it. I'll have to um, try to play around a little bit and see, see what I think but I kind of like the simplicity of it the other thing I noticed that I kind of didn't like was it's not perfect in the back so this will kind of get rid of it and it'll get rid of these wrinkles that I can't seem to iron out so you can always cover things up ladies if things don't go your way I don't want to add too much up here because I don't want to take away from here yet there's a part of me that thought not necessarily this one, but maybe a little lace may look nice across the top. See, the more I go, the more I add. So I think what I'll do is I'll just start with adding the back doilies on the back. And then I'll see what how I feel when I get to the front. I mean, even something like this to keep it simple may look really cute and a pink button in the middle. But again, I don't want to take away from this. So that's cute too if I put the button there. But then this seems kind of empty. And then I have one, two, three things. For the, um, I try to add things in three. So we have the beads. In the front this is kind of included on this bottom part so we have this two and three three eye focal points so i just might do that let's see how this looks no i don't like that at all it's too a little too much so let me play around with this a little more and um i'm gonna glue the back on and okay everybody i finished her up and the only way that I can kind of describe the layering, it's almost like putting a puzzle piece together and you have to see if it fits. So I had a few empty spots and I ended up cutting, whoops, I ended up cutting an applique up just to fill these in. I still have a little empty spaces here, but that I'm not really worried about. So I kind of like the way this came out. And this will make it this will make a great bridal bag to keep envelopes in or something. That's the inside of it. And then I'm gonna show you the back. I love the, how the back came out. Look at how the back came out. I just layered a bunch of doilies. I have so many doilies. Uh, my friend Nikki gave me this one and this one. And I just went through my doilies and I really liked how that laid out. And I told you guys, I couldn't leave it simple. There's no way. And then this is the cover. And I didn't add any real closure. I just added this flower, which picked up the yellow inside these flowers. And I left this very simple. I ended up adding the pearls like I had said I was going to do over here. And I think I really like it. I think it pops. And I'm pretty, let me give you guys a close up. I'm pretty happy with how this looks. Tell me what you think in the comments. And 
and here's the back. I also have something else to show you ladies. So I'm working on these little sets. Whoops. So all of you can make the smaller version of the needle book along with me. And these are going to be $39.95 plus shipping. So I give you quite a bit of things in here as you can see and there's enough to do the whole entire book. I just need to still cut out <clears throat> excuse me I still need to cut out some of the felt pieces to go inside here so that is almost done and then I just got these in tell me these are gorgeous whoops which way do they go look at this I love my neat doing my needle keeps or needle books they can call and I thought this would be absolutely breathtaking for a needle book. And we could even add some silk inside so the silk popped through on here. So I only have a few of these. I'm not quite sure, maybe less than a dozen that we can work with as well on doing another needle book. Here's another one. I loved the detail on this one. Ladies, I'm kind of hooked on making these needle books. I have a few left if anybody's interested in purchasing the ones that I did. But these are so pretty. However way we wanted to. We could do this on the top or on the bottom. I just love, 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 love the lace on this. They're um, linen, I believe, so they're hard to iron out flat and then I wanted to show you what I got in from my friend Nikki now I'm gonna have to put in the comments exactly what this material is but it's like a silky satin and I have a bunch of colors look at this and she cut them all up for me and I'm gonna put together some gorgeous kits look at this blue it's absolutely exquisite so I have a few in each color and I'm gonna keep a pink for myself I love that it's like a nice green and a deeper blue and look at that purple I'm not a purple fan but I did get it for you guys and then these are the ties that are gonna match so some of them she ran out of so she gave me white which I think will look gorgeous with whichever the ones she had me supplement. So I'll have to go through and see exactly which ones. And you could, you could actually probably even dye them. I, I'm just in awe over these colors. And I don't even think this does it justice, guys. Look at that. And I'm not sure if these are vintage or not. I'm not 100% sure, but I absolutely love them. And I think I'm going to put them together with a bunch of laces and some of the doilies. And that'll be my next kit. So you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.